Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks inside GoodNotes. So this has been definitely a pain point for me because, you know, whenever I'm surfing the web or I'm on my calendar, I would love to be able to just add it somewhere so it's one click away. What we're going to do is we're going to choose the link we want to add. It can be any link, it could be on your own website or it could be to Instagram and whatever else you need. We're going to go back to GoodNotes now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this text icon and I'm going to choose that I'm going to place it over here where 6 a.m. is. I'm going to add a lot of spacing here. And this is basically the whole place where the link is. I'm going to double click it, select all and then click link. Now I can paste over here uh, my my link and make sure that I click enter. So here we have it. It's invisible because we didn't have text there. And what we can do is we just click on here and then I can click on the link so I can find it like this very quickly. So it's kind of a secret link. Of course, what you can also do is choose a sticker that you add the link on. So for example, in this case, if I want to add it on this girl, no problem. I do basically the same thing. I just click text and then I'll click on it with my finger that allows you to uh, open keyboard. And then once I'm happy with the width, I'm going to just click enter, 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 enter. So it's all the way where I want it to be. And then I will select the whole thing, select all, and then I can link this part as well and just link it to whatever I want it to be. Click enter and here. So now if I click here, I can actually go to this page as well. Now, another thing I want to show you is, for example, let's say you want to create a pages that you can easily access. So let's say this is a Monday page and then you want to add another one after, um, like just let's say a dotted page here. And this is going to be your, sorry, I need this. This is going to be your Tuesday. So you just want to create a week, you know, so each page has its own name. So then what I would do is I would click these three icons, uh, three dots here, and then I will click add this page to outline. Then I'll say Monday, or I can use the date, for example, 0410, because it's October, and I just added it. Now I can access it really easily from here. Go to outlines. And then here you see I've already created another one, so I can just remove this one. And I have my only outline here. We're going to do the same for Tuesday, so we can just add it there. I'm going to click um, mute three dots, add this page to outline, and then I'm going to say Tuesday. Don't have to write the whole thing if you, would, you, you don't want to, but just to show you how it looks like add and then if I go here, go to my outlines, I can easily access both pages. You can also create a new page by using a current template. So let's say I go to the page I like and then I just can add it, the plus sign, current template, and I'll also add everything besides Monday there. So I'm just gonna copy this, copy, move, and paste it on the new page. So I have my page ready. And then I can delete the parts I don't want. And here I can write Tuesday and create my own planner that I like the way I like it. Because when you get a planner that has individual elements like this, you can just create whatever feels good for you and you can choose uh, from the widgets file. So sorry, I went to the wrong place, but let me go back, back. And here I have my monthly or I have my weekly and daily. I'm going to go to daily and then I can just choose whichever I like the most. So let's say I like this one. 
so I can add my daily plan here. And then I can add a sticker, like just add multiple stickers that I want. So I'm gonna choose hand drawn and then I'm gonna add a golden clip one. So here, this is another version. And as you can see, my Tuesday and Monday looks different because maybe some days I like it this way and other days I like it that way. But I can easily access both of them whenever I want, which is really, really nice. Um, this one I've just created, so we're gonna, we're gonna change that. And you can go to thumbnails also, and then here I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna add it to my outline here, add this page to outline, and then I'm gonna say Tuesday 05, 10, add, and then I have it very quickly where it needs to be. So now I don't need this empty file because I'm over it and I just can go in between the two very easily. So I could, for example, add something to this clip over here. So we're going to do the same technique where we just click text and I just add some spacing. And after that, you can also, so we will select all link and go to the link that we want to. Um, and let's say the link is this page. I'm going to copy it. So by the way, if you are looking how to create a digital planner on Canva, so it has tabs, that's a, a really useful page and a video for you. Anyways, I'm going to go back to GoodNotes and then here I'm going to add the link. Paste. Make sure you click enter and that's it. So now once I go here, if I click, I can go to that page if I want to. Um, and another thing is that if at some point you feel like this is not the right spot, you can click uh, the lasso tool, move it around, click the text and you can edit the content. And once you click edit the content, you can make it bigger or smaller and just move it around a little bit. So that's pretty handy and pretty useful. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope that this was useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. And also check out this video if you do want to create it on Canva or Google Slides and know how to make those tabs clickable. See you next time.